Hi everyone and welcome to this new tutorial. This is Hamza Shigur from Emirage.org and I'm gonna show you how I made the rain animation sequence. So before diving into the step-by-step -step tutorial, let's take a look at the content of the final scene. So basically I used only boxes and planes for almost everything in this scene. I have organized um, the objects into three main collections and simplified the Blender user interface into three workspaces. So the basic idea behind this animation or the scene is that I'm using a simple plane to generate particles and those particles are another simple stretched plane. For the fog, I used a box to which I applied a material, a set of volumetric uh, shader and procedural textures and then I animated some values like the Y translation axis using modifiers uh, in inside the uh, curve editor. So this is the basic idea and the, the exact content of the, the scene is uh, split into the three collections and uh, we have a camera plus uh, a light and the rain uh, objects which are the raindrop and the particle emitter and the wind effector. Also for uh, the fog and water, as I said, a simple box and a simple plane. So this is the basic idea behind this project. Now let's dive into the step-by-step -step tutorial. Okay, on a new Blender session, delete everything and create a new plane. This plane is going to be used as a particle emitter. So I will increase its size uh, by going to the properties side panel here. Go to item and dimension and increase it to something like 15 meters. Uh, move it to... to the top here, rotate it uh, like this. Now create another plane and stretch it along the X axis. So name the first one something like rain emitter, the second one as rain particle. Okay, so now let's set a particle system. Select the rain emitter object and go to the particles properties here and add a new particle system. Basically we have those basic parameters which are the number of particles, the first frame to which um, <coughs> the animation or simulation start. So I'm gonna uh, set this to negative 100 to have something already set on the first frame and increase the end of the simulation to 250 like the length of our animation and increase the lifetime to 100 so now it depends on the uh, the height of the plane I, I mean according to the height of the plane and the the, the, the placement of those particles that you will set those values. So the second thing we're gonna uh, set is the velocity, which is the speed of our particles. So let's launch the animation. And I prefer to increase this to something like 10, which is close to the gravity value. And you can now decrease the lifetime so you have only particles at this level, something like this. And use the same value in negative here. So you're gonna have the same um, like height and number of particles, visible particles uh, from the first frame. Okay, so you can increase now the number of particles. Let's increase it only to 10 times, so 10,000, 
and go to the render tab here and switch to object render as object and pick the instance object here rain particle increase the scale to one and as you can see it's not in the right direction so go to rotation here uh, enable rota rotation and enable dyna dynamic too so let's see now the simulation again now we, we're gonna set the uh, rain material and before this uh, create a light area and turn it in like example for example this uh, this way and create a camera looking in the opposite way of the light so this is the camera let's increase its size in the viewport so viewport display increase the size here and um, okay so I think I will take or set the camera this way and the light in like this one um, and now split the screen into two windows and enable render here S uh, switch to camera view and then go to the world here and decrease this value to something near dark increase the strength of the light to 100 for example we we, we don't need uh, we don't see anything because the we have to set the material so go to uh, the emitter particle and um, by the way uh, I'm gonna clean the workspace tabs so I don't need the modeling sculpting uh, so keep only even the shading for now, rendering, compositing, and scripting. So, du duplicate uh, the layout here, duplicate, and name it to shading. Then switch to, to shader editor here. And create a new material for For the rain particle switch back to render here and delete this node so we we're gonna need the translucent shader connected to the surface and there's some issue rain particle maybe we need to increase the area light Okay, we, we start to see something. Okay. There's a, a, a little issue here, which is the uh, particles that we have here don't show correctly. And this is mostly due uh, of the shape of our uh, rain particle. So preferably rotate this to 45 degrees along the y-axis and here yeah we have now our particle and uh, now switch back to shading mode and we're gonna need a transparent 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 uh, okay transparent material I'm using the node wrangler add-in which uh, make it make it easy to mix and do some basic operations. So I'm gonna select these two uh, shaders here and hit Control O Control Zero to to mix between them. But uh, to see the effect, go to the material here and change the blend mode to Alpha Blend, and then. Reduce this value 
still you have something that looks correct. Okay. I think uh, we'll keep it as low as, as this. Okay, so now the next step is to set the color of the area light. So set it to something like this. Depends on the uh, effect you, you want to get and I leave this uh, settings uh, to your taste. So anyway, uh, next step is to add the fog effect. Before um, start working on the fog, let's give uh, this scene some organization. Uh, for this I'm gonna put this to or all the objects related to the rain into a new collection and name it rain. Then let's put the uh, this one too and the ray uh, the camera and the light new collection called light and camera. Okay. Uh, delete this collection, it's empty. Now, let's create a cube to um, recenter the cur cursor and create a cube to be used for the um, Okay, so we're gonna use this cube for the volume uh, volumetric for the fog and name it here fog. Now switch to shade in mode and make sure that you have selected the fog and create a new material here. Delete the principled BSDF and add a sh principled volume. Then connect the volume socket to the volume socket here. Okay, now we're gonna add uh, for a moment. I will temporarily hide the rain and work only with the uh, fog. So texture Voronoi texture here and connect the distance socket to the density input here. Now control T. Okay, so uh, now we have the Voronoi texture. You can play with the size of the texture, but I'm not seeing. So here you can play with the size. And I will add a converter color ramp here. And make sure that play with this to to create this kind of uh, chunks. This uh, also plays on the uh, transparency. I'd like to also increase the strength emission strength based on this, but it's too much, and for this to reduce. So for the emission uh, emission strain, uh, it's too much. So to reduce this, I can add a vector math node here and divide this value to reduce the intensity. So this is the first thing. The second one is I can play with the scale and the uh, contour of those uh, circles or spheres because it's 3D over this and also <coughs> uh, we're gonna see this for animation later now I have perfect shaped uh, spheres I want to add some noise to, to, to their shape and for this, I will add another texture, which is the wave texture. 
and mix it with the vector maybe in there. A very simple, yeah, this is the our texture. And add to it some distortion like this and put some detail. And we're gonna control this by activating the principle again. We're gonna control how much the wave texture affect our Voronoi spheres. You have to use a very slight value, very slight value to control. Yeah. Let's see again. I I, I don't have any like specific um, parameters you can copy from uh, the final the final uh, scene setup but actually it's a guesswork uh, you have to experiment to try different parameters till you have something that uh, you like and uh, this is how it works so you can reduce even these and um, you can put for example a vector or convert a color ramp here sorry a color ramp here and play with the uh, these values we could do otherwise we could we can um, let's see again with the particles mm -hmm. so you can see that the uh, fog texture is too visible so I can reduce and make it more transparent 